Good evening everyone, this is North Shore Preparedness coming to you from the dark and crisp shores of Lake Ontario. Today is Friday, October the 30th, 2020, and we are late into the evening. And the moon, bless her soul, has finally decided to uh, peek up into an area where I can see her. Um, we are currently sitting at about, uh, freezing, so with whatever, uh, measurement of, um, temperature, uh, you'd like to use, it's freezing here now, uh, zero, uh, for, um, those of us who use, uh, centigrade, and, um, I think it's, uh, around 32 for my American brothers and sisters, so it is cool and crisp and clear now there's a reason I wanted to capture uh, an image of this moon tonight um, well I wanted to capture an image of this moon tonight because uh, tomorrow night Halloween night it's late into the evening tonight but it's, it's not quite Halloween however to our friends uh, across the pond it is now Halloween um, you know, it should be about uh, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning uh, there for them. But uh, I wanted to capture this image tonight uh, because uh, I knew we, we were going to have uh, clear skies. And um, we're uh, predicting uh, uh, cloud cover tomorrow. So I knew on Halloween, pro Halloween evening proper, I would not be able to capture uh, an image of this. So you can see as the moon uh, moves through the uh, the viewfinder there, you know how the moon moves. Um, but yeah, I wanted to capture it tonight to uh, you know to share with you guys, and um, you know especially to uh, share with my uh, my buddy Tony across the pond. Um, he's uh, he's in a situation where he can't look up to the the sky and see the moon. So I like to do these uh, these moon videos for them. He likes uh, he likes to see the moon. So I thought, uh, you know, like, why the heck not? Let me just readjust this uh, camera a little wee bit. Bring it back down here, and we'll let it go up through the viewfinder again. Okay. See if we can get focus on that again. Sorry, guys. My cinematography is not the best. Let's see if we can't get focus on that. Should focus right back in. The autofocus on this uh, camera is crazy good, and it's like a cheaper, older. DSLR, but uh, I'll keep using it. It's taking its time here, though, isn't it? Just give it a minute. It'll do its thing. But one of the reasons why I wanted to capture an image of this moon is because, as I understand, um, this is a bit of a rarity. Okay. Um... Now, the reason I say that uh, it's a bit of a rarity is for a few reasons, to be quite honest. Um, okay, so we're Halloween, okay? And we have a full moon. Boom, there's a rarity, okay? Not to mention, on Halloween, having a full moon, this is also a blue moon. I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. I'm not 100% certain myself what it is. Um, but uh, I understand a blue moon is rare. And I also understand that a full moon on Halloween is rare. So the combination of all those three things makes this moon special. Um, now, I'm not sure uh, that I can tell you how uh, 
how infrequent it is that a full moon happens on Halloween or uh, or how frequently a blue moon happens on Halloween or how often the combination of the two take place on Halloween but I'm sure my brother metal or um, one of my other awesome subscribers could probably uh, probably let me know about that it's chill out here guys I'm I'm uh, I'm not uh, kidding at all it's quite cool all right there we got some focus back going on nice you can see the man in the moon the blue moon So, Tony, my friend across the pond, I hope you and the boss, his missus, are, uh, are doing well. I hope you're uh, keeping well and safe. Um, you know, if, uh, I'm not sure what uh, the situation is over there with, uh, in your particular area with uh, you know, everything that's going on. But if there's going to be a Halloween or anything like that, um, if you guys get your Halloween on, then that's awesome. Um, if not, um, you know, uh, and it sounds like, uh, much like, uh, a lot of other places that are happening. France, Australia, other places in Great Britain, all throughout Europe. Uh, so, you know, at the very least, I hope you're well and safe and, uh, If you guys don't know Tony, I'm sorry, Tony, your uh, your uh, screen name um, escapes me at the moment. Uh, you guys will see him down down in the uh, the chat, da down in the comments below. Come on, focus. I used to be impressed with this camera, but it's it's pretty cool weather, so I've never actually field tested this camera in cool weather. So oh, we're starting to get focus here now. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Go ahead. Alright, let me see if I can get one more good focus in here. Let's see what that does. There we are. Now we're in business. Ah! She fades. We'll give it some time. Let it do its thing. Ah, you guys can hear the train blow. All right, I'm about two and a half miles off the lake, and the train tracks are about, uh, oh, five or six hundred yards off of the lake. So, uh, yeah, that train's uh, ripping down Lakeshore right now. And it's headed east. So, it's a load of goods headed east. Things are still moving here. There aren't terrible lockdowns just yet, but they're talking about other stages of lockdowns in uh, very, very specific places. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes. And But the numbers are up, I'll tell you that. Um, you know, in Ontario here, we've been experiencing... You know, a couple of months ago, we, we almost had double digits. You know, less than 100 new cases a day. Uh, not even a couple of months ago, like maybe five weeks ago, six weeks ago. And uh, now we're, uh, we have hit a thousand new cases a day in this province, um, which is uh, greater than the number that caused the lockdowns. So, you know, um, things are sort of headed toward where I predicted they would go um, in fall uh, when, I, uh, when I was talking about them in the spring. All right, let me just, uh, let me see if I can mess with this camera a little bit see if I can 
cause it to focus. You hear that train whistle? I got a buddy of mine who can tell you what pitch each train whistle is. Not a beautiful moon. So I thought I'd take a minute to come out and capture this for you guys. Um, wish everyone, uh, you know, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're all well and safe um, and prepared for, you know, uh, the things that are on our uh, immediate horizon. And uh, I also want to wish everyone who uh, likes to enjoy Halloween a happy Halloween and safe Halloween to you all. Um, so that's what I'm going to have for you guys this evening. I'm just taking a break from, uh, you know, I'm reorganizing from, uh, from the summer. It was a long summer of gardening and uh, harvesting and canning and things like that. So I'm, I, uh, I've got a lot of things to do and uh, I'm expecting... A, a nice visit from a, a guest tomorrow so um, so I've been busy with that I wasn't on Ed's live stream tonight uh, because of that so if anyone missed me there um, like yes I am still around still doing my thing and um, you know I'm prepping to make uh, more videos and and things like that so I've got stuff uh, coming for you guys all right so that's what I'm gonna have for you guys this evening the man in the blue moon for this Halloween of 2020. Stay well and safe, everyone. Happy Halloween. <laughs>